This project is going to be building a set of ramps for a car trailer. It's, a, it's got a two foot dove on it, so they don't have to be super long. Probably say about four feet. Evolution cold cut saw. If you're still using an abrasive disc on it, just go ahead, throw it away, spend the money, get you a cold cut saw. Evolution also has a miter saw that's cold cut like this. I recommend getting that one. This is not a sponsored video, I just really like their saws. I think 14 inches wide. I think that's a pretty good width. If you're doing it like this, using one that you've already cut as a guide or a template, make sure you use the same one every single time. So much easier. Magnetic chuck, surface conditioner, a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot simpler than a grinder with a, an abrasive disc or a flap disc. But on small pieces like this, where you're just going to do the edges to where you're going to be welding, I do think it's a lot faster.
Let's use one of these. Well, you know that whole saying, uh, measure twice, cut once? You got me. All right, so problem that I ran into is I'm building a set of ramps for a car trailer. It already has the openings for ramp storage up under the trailer. Did not realize how narrow they were. Uh, maximum width that each ramp can be is 13 inches. Well, I cut these at 14 inches. Plus, they're gonna be sitting inside of my square tube in here. So that's gonna put the overall width at 16 inches. 16 is not going to fit in a 13 inch wide opening. So I'm going to get the saw back out and start trimming all these down. All right, so I got these all laid out here spaced out what I think looks good. Uh, I'm gonna go through and mark each outer piece. It's 44 and three quarters. I'm just gonna eyeball it here first one's gonna be three inches off the back and then we'll do I don't know every every ten inches I guess just to see I don't know we'll probably go that would be 10 inches right there. I was originally gonna do four, but I thought that might be too far spaced out. You know, say you're gonna haul a smaller tire or a smaller car with small tires or, you know, something like that. But. Don't look bad. Let's go with let's go with nine inches. Every nine inches. So that one will stay the same. Three inches from the top or from the bottom or the ends rather. We'll go nine inches. Put that there to keep it square.
Yeah, that's gonna work. We're gonna go on with that. Don't work good. I lock it. Let's drill some holes and put some pins in. All right, so it's already got a hole there. I'm gonna try to catch that one. I'll probably miss. This one is gonna be a little more tricky to get to, so I might just drill a new one right there. I think my drill's trying to die. Battery and the actual drill. I've had it for a while. It's been abused. All right, well that project's done. Guys, if you liked the video, then uh, like, comment, subscribe. These gnats are terrible out here. November and we still got gnats. Welcome to the South. All right, well anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell, all that good stuff. I don't really know. Anyway, we'll see you on the next project.